Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The political action committees that announced a writing campaign for the Ogun Limtiako team moving full steam ahead with their plans to give Guam a third gubernatorial option in the general election. Guam Citizens for Public Accountability and Guamanians for Fair Government announced their plan to push a writing campaign for the Ogun Limtiako team in early September. Ogun Limtiako losing to the Leon Guerrero Tenorio team in the primary. Andre Bainham, head of Guamanians for Fair Government, has written two letters to the Guam Election Commission asking for more space on the write-in portion of the general election ballot, but the request has not been addressed by the GEC board. The commission uh, tabled the discussion for a later time. Bainham has taken issue with the GEC's inaction on his request, even going as far as saying the GEC is ignoring it. We're supposed to get written responses for each of the letters that we submit, and um, we haven't gotten anything from the, uh, from the Guam Election Commission. We asked the GEC if it was, in fact, giving Bainham the cold shoulder. Oh, no, 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 no. We still have a little bit of time to fine-tune that section of the ballot. While Bainham and Ken Leon Guerrero of Citizens for Public Accountability say they're acting on behalf of the people of Guam, we wanted to find out just how many people they feel they're representing. Just for my group, um, there's eight of us in a committee and we come together to make these types of decisions. So by no means am I the one uh, that makes these uh, uh, decisions by myself. Um, and then we have several thousand followers on Facebook and our website. So, um, you know. We, we represent, you know, uh, um, uh, 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 you know, a pretty good chunk of, uh, of the voter and the voting population on the island of Guam. While Bainham is trying to make sure there's enough space to write in Ogulim Tiako, he's also trying to make sure voters have some wiggle room when it comes to what they write in on the write-in space. You know, a little variation on, this, on the, the spelling of, uh, of Ogun, uh, using an O before the U or U before the O or, or two O's or with Limtiako, that kind of thing. Uh, we want to make sure that they're able to accept those uh, when it comes time to count those ballots. The GEC said the board will ultimately approve what write-in votes for Ogun Limtiako must say in order for those write-in votes to count. While the Ogun Limtiako team has not fully embraced this write-in effort, they haven't repudiated it either. A Democratic Unity pledge the team signed said primary election losers would not run write-in campaigns and also disavow any third-party group that tries to draft them as write-in candidates. Bainham did say he would consult his partner if the Ogun Limtiako team asked them to drop plans to run the write-in campaign. He also said the write-in campaign is about a third option, since Bainham says the Lou and Josh and Tenorio Ada teams are cut from the same cloth. There is no difference. You know, one grabs the money and the other grabs the gun. For Guam's News Network, Chris Barnett reports. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.